Man, it's not that often that I buy a game and I completely regret doing so, but Mortal Kombat 1. Like, I don't regret Mortal Kombat 1. I regret buying it for the Nintendo Switch. I paid $110 to have the privilege of playing this game on release, on its actual release date. That's the state of games nowadays. Like, it, it seems like the trend. Pay extra and you get to play it on the actual release date. If you want to be a, a pleb and pay the normal you know, price... You have to wait a week later. Freaking ridiculous. Kind of annoying, but I, I bit the bullet. I wanted to play this game, and my local store, when I bought it, they didn't have PS5 version, Xbox version, but they had a Switch version. I was like, you know what? That might be kind of interesting, and, you know, to share with you guys on my channel, live stream it, see how it performs. Why not? I think there would be more interest with people seeing me, you know, playing it on the Switch. So we live streamed this game, played through the story mode, and initially, I, I was having fun. I, I was having a decent amount of fun, but I was noticing issues. Lots of little issues. All the cutscenes. I, I don't know. I don't know what the performance is across the board, but cutscenes on the Nintendo Switch, it's like it struggles. Like the resolution changes in and out. It'll be like crystal clear, and then it'll be like compressed, and then there'll be screen tearing, and then loading between matches to the cutscenes. They'll jitter, and they'll be like weirdness and tons of loading throughout the entire game. And then certain graphics glitches popping in and out of the game. Things like Sindel having no hair. What the frick was that about? I had to go back and, and play uh, in a normal match, like in practice mode. I was like, does she actually have hair? Can the Switch not render fricking hair, right? But she has hair, just sometimes it doesn't want to load. I'm like, <laughs> this is freaking ridiculous. So, you know, after playing the story mode, and kind of enjoying it toward the end of the game the loading is atrocious like you're gonna see more load screens than the amount of time you spend in matches it's just does the you know if they couldn't release this on the you know ps4 or xbox one that kind of thing like you know people have brought up what what right was there to bring it to the switch well i mean they brought it to the switch because switch is the best selling console out there and it's a huge market but if they couldn't get this thing running well, what, what was the point? Graphics aside, I understand it's not going to look as pretty as other consoles. And at some points, it doesn't look too bad. It really doesn't. But you do get that, that glassy eye stare from these characters throughout the game that is really jarring. But didn't really take me out of it. You know, when, when you're in a match and you're fighting and there's not much slowdown going on or glitches going on, it is decently fun on the Switch. It's just there's so much that just ruins it i don't know how many times how many times that i've seen the oh the, there was an error the game had to close so the game crashed over and over and over again i was trying to record tons of different footage going through uh, uh you know online matches going through the invasions going through tower mode and every single mode every single time i turned around and selected something, got into it, and started thinking I may, you know, have some time to enjoy this freaking game. It crashes over and over again. I, I, you know, I've reinstalled the game. I've, you know, rebooted my Switch. The Switch just can't handle this. Is it this? Is it really that the Switch can't handle it, or is it just poorly optimized? I think it's a combination of both. But I'm, I'm just really frustrated with this mess of a game. You know, over the years, I, I have ignored a lot of the latest releases from Mortal Kombat. I loved the games back in the 90s, but I skipped quite a few until, you know, Mortal Kombat 11 and Aftermath with all that, and I really enjoyed it. So when I saw this game, Mortal Kombat 1, coming out, I was excited. I'm like, you know what? I like what I'm seeing with the teases all the stuff out there i'm gonna jump into this and i'm still excited to play it but just not on the switch but i'm just like okay trying out these different modes going into invasions and it's like there's tons of freaking loading and then you'll get on a, a space where a pop-up will come up and it'll just you'll be frozen like frozen for a heck of a long time and i'm sitting there mashing the buttons did the game freeze am i gonna crash and then i skip whatever box popped up most times just something stupid but I, I, I'm like, what the heck? And then get into a match, fight, get out of the match, the game crashes. It just happens over and over again. I did play a little bit of a multiplayer and it worked okay, but it just seems like there's a heck of a long staring match going on in between every every time I, I started a match, just the two characters staring at each other for what seemed like forever. So with this game, man, uh, you know, it, 
it's not without its issues on other consoles from what I'm hearing, but the Switch version is just plagued by them. To spend $110 for the premium edition or even $70 for the standard edition, they're, they're, like, there's no reason for that. Like, This game probably should have been passed up on the Switch if they couldn't optimize it. But this is the sad state of gaming nowadays. Release a broken mess and then fix it slowly over time. You're a paid beta tester, and that is the way I feel with Mortal Kombat 1 on the Nintendo Switch. I regret buying this garbage, and I wish I would have bought it on the PS5 or the Xbox Series X instead. But no, my dumbass was like, you know what, that's the only copy they have. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit curious to see how well this runs. Let me live stream it. So I bought it for the Switch, and now I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of annoyed because... I was like, after playing story mode, getting through all that through live streaming, the few issues we did have, and it did crash during the live stream as well, had weird glitches here and there, but overall it was fairly enjoyable, but it was like not, you know, the six, seven hours that it took to beat story mode, I didn't feel like that was enough content for me to justify the $110, like, let me play more, let me go into the other modes, let me practice let me learn the game better uh, you know let me just do single player stuff and a little bit of online and it's just that monkey wrench just keeps getting thrown in there with the crashes and the, the weird glitches and the long ass loading times and the cutscenes just looking like shit i don't know what's up with this game but I, I i really don't like what they did here they really should have passed up on the switch and you know i understand hey you're leaving money on the table at that point but if you weren't able to get a functioning game that was fully functioning, it's like, why even bother, man? Like, I love the Nintendo Switch, but some things, yeah, this is this is just pointing towards the Switch. Man, we need that new Switch. Who knows when that's coming out? Probably next year sometime. But to buy a, an expensive-ass game like this and really pass, pass on it. Don't, don't be a fool like some people, like me and get it for the switch if the switch is the only option you have if that is the only option you have and you are a huge mortal kombat fan just freaking pass on it i don't know what these guys did like save up to get a different console you you probably have a pc like i don't know try it on that but on the switch no this is this is a no hell no is all i'm saying I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I wanted to enjoy it past story mode, but I'm having a very difficult time. Understand, like, yeah, the graphics aren't going to look the best. I get it. I'm fine with that. But just having those nonstop crashes and all the boo-boo-ness really took me out of it. And I, I, I feel like, how could they release this game in the state that it's in? It's freaking dumb, man. Thanks for watching. Bye.